Hey guys, how's everyone? So I'm excited about two things. First thing, we have a sponsor. It's called Living is Interesting. And it's a company out of Queens, New York, my hometown, and they sell, uh, they sell clothes. They sell clothes, uh, high-end clothes, shirts, sweatshirts. It's oversized sweatshirts for working out or, um, or just hanging out, daily life. So I like this company a lot. So if you guys can uh, definitely just take a look and see, it would help me out a lot. Now the second thing I'm excited about is that we are going to Criff Dogs. We're gonna take the five, we're actually, I'm sorry, we're gonna take the six downtown to Astor Place and then we're gonna walk towards the east side uh, on, it's on St. Mark's Place, and I can't wait. I'm excited to actually try these dogs out. It's gonna be a good day today. Downtown 6th train to Astor Place. All right, just got out of the train. Now let's move up St. Mark's Place. We're going east, probably a couple blocks, maybe uh, two to maybe three blocks. Everybody's telling me to come visit, so I have some time today and I'll take care of it. But St. Mark's Place is always a nice spot to move around. It's windy today. It is a nice day, but it is windy. Last night was really windy, so carried over into today. So you hear that in the microphone. For some reason, I feel like there's an arcade bar here. I don't know if I just passed it or it's up here. But, uh, you know, you drink beers and you just play like old school arcade games. Marvel versus Capcom. Little Mega Man. What, a, what else is there? Little racing games, NBA Jam. All right, so as we're walking to Crips, I actually wanted to address something, right? In terms of the pricing, everyone's like, oh, it's expensive. The, the most expensive states in the US, I would say New York, California. Yes, it's expensive, everything is going up. But I, I wanted to bring up a fact that why it's going up, right? So there's a lot of factors. And the way I'm gonna explain it is very, very simple but just take into consideration that there are a lot of factors behind it, right? So you have inflation, you have uh, the feds raising the rates, you have uh, uh, supply and demand, you have oversaturation of supply or oversaturation of demand with no supply. Um, you have the global supply chain issues. You got a ton of stuff that's going on, right? But the way I can explain it very simply, right? Cause the government tells you, hey, hey, inflation is just 8% but yet you feel like you're paying double for everything. Let's say a manufacturer sees an increase for any reason. Feds raise, raise the hike, they have to take a loan out, they're paying more money on the loan. So whatever, and let's say it's 10%, just to make it rounded, rounded off. Let's say uh, the cost to them is $100 to make something, but, but uh, you have to add 10% to that cost. So now it's $110. Now that manufacturer sells it to the middleman. So the middleman, what is he gonna do? He's gonna say, I'm gonna take the hit? Absolutely not, he's not gonna take the hit. So he adds 10% on top of that. But again, it's compound interest. So that 110 now is $121 and so on and so forth until it gets to you. So by the time it gets to you, that $100 item is now 180, 190. So, that's what happens when you have that compound interest on items that keep going up. So the government can tell us, hey, 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 it's only 8%, but it's really not. So when you go and pay for food and you're like, hey, why am I paying double? It's because you are. All right, we made it, here we are. So two things to point out. They have a New Yorker dog, which is 100% beef, and they have the Criff dog, which is uh, half beef, half pork. So I'm excited to try that out. If you have high-end quality ingredients, half pork, half beef is, is really good. All right, let's go. 
Well, this is this is what you hear when you come in. Definitely getting demonetized. I'm gonna do a voiceover. But here's the menu. Music is rocking. It's it's 11:45. Criff dog. So I got and I told you guys the criff dog was pork and beef, and I got the New Yorker, uh, which is all beef. So I got two. I got the pork and beef Frank and the New Yorker. But I got the chili dog. For all the chili dog fanatics, there it is. And I got the everything dog, which is the cream cheese, scallions, everything bagel seasoning, which is great. Med fans, Keith smoking in the dugout. And then there's the other cool thing that they have here. Well, you eat a hot dog, you just play. All right, you guys are ready for this? Here we go, scallion, sour cream. The only scallion thing I've had is uh, scallion cream cheese on an everything bagel or cinnamon raisin bagel. Love it. And you got the chili dog. Look just like I like it. Mustard and diced onions. Definitely deep fried. All right. So hopefully you can still hear me. Who wears a white shirt? To, who wears a white uh, sweater to try out hot dogs? This guy. So I had some time to do this. I'm, t I'm, I'm yelling over the music. Maybe you guys might not hear it because this mic's pretty good. That's why I had to use this one instead of the uh, headphones because the headphones take uh, the uh, earbuds because those take all sound. So I'm going to try the chili dog first. Look at that beauty. Just like I like it. Looks really good. I like, so I'm not a big chili guy, but I will try it. Um, it, but I do like it this way with the diced onions and with the mustard. I'm trying to hear myself think. All right, here's the first one. Oh yeah, yeah, this might be life changing. Oh yeah, this is the first deep fried hot dog that I that I fell in love with with the first bite. This is really good. This is the pork um, and beef uh, mix blend. This is, yeah. Oh, wow. Really, really good. That is really good. I'm loving it. They're diced, fresh. The, the hot dog itself, it still has a snap. Even though it's fried, usually you don't get that snap. And then the chili sauce is so sweet. You could feel the meat, some meat in there. But it's very fine. Not pureed, just fine ground, uh, grounded beef. And it's very sweet. It tastes really good. And the mustard just adds a great taste to it. Wow. Just took a bite with the chili sauce. Very sweet and good. I'm surprised this has a snap to it, even though it's deep fried. 9.3. 9.3. Like I said, I'm not a chili guy, but the, the, the mix of this is really good. I'm not a big deep fried guy, but the mix is really, really good. The music just gets louder and louder. <laughs> I mean, I'm a rock guy. I love rock bands, but I've never heard this band. Let's try the scaling one. I've never had scaling with sour cream. I'm, I'm going to add mustard on it. So that's how it is now. Let me add some mustard. All right, this is spicy mustard, so that's good. I'm going to add that on here. Just the line. Oh! Hit the tape, and this is an easy clean. Nice line of mustard right on the side. I like it. Let's try it out. Scallion, sour cream, mustard. Not impressed. I'm not too impressed with this one. They have the everything bagel seasoning on here, which if you've ever had an everything bagel with cream cheese, you get the little bits of seasoning between your teeth. Scallion's overpowering. I, I definitely like the chili more than this. It's still good, but I mean, I'm gonna give this like a seven, three, seven, three on this one. The chili is, it, that one's, I'm sticking to a 9.2. I just realized these are both pork blends, pork and beef blend. Yeah, it's awesome, man. Thank you so much. These are both pork blends. He knows I'm filming. He doesn't care. He's like, I'm blasting this music because <laughs> this is my place. And I respect that. No problem. I work here. This is me. I get it. I'm going to get the New Yorker all beef. I'm going to try that. All right. Hold on.
I'm gonna finish this up, I'll get one more. All right, so what did I do? I ordered a New Yorker hot dog, and it comes with uh, mustard, chocolate, onions, and relish. Just like a true New York hot dog, so let's try that out. The kid com keeps coming over, he's like, anything you need? And I'm like, yeah, can you put the music a little louder? It's pretty good. Here's proof that I loved it. You guys can see the inside. The two, uh, I don't know if the tourists or not, but they're just ordering as much as I am. All right, so are you guys ready for this? Ta-da! All beef hot dog. I really thought this was gonna be onion sauce, but it's uh, sauteed onions. Got the all beef New Yorker there. I'm excited to try that out. So we got some relish, some mustard. What else? Sauerkraut's right there. All right, this doesn't look bad at all. Looks pretty good. I really thought it was onion sauce, but all right, here we go. Oh, I don't want to tug on this too much. Ugh. Mustard's already in there. It smells wonderful, by the way. Sa sauteed onions smell wonderful. Might be a little too much for my taste. I'm telling you right now, my breath is going to be kicking when I get back to the office. Everything bagel, which has, you know, the seasoning, which has probably onions, garlic, garlic salt, right? And then this onion sauce, forget it. I might as well just go home after this one. Let's try it out. That's the all beef. Onions are definitely overpowering. Very overpowering. The relish is a sweet relish. Tastes very good. Well, this is much thinner, the hot dog. See that? But the onions are very overpowering. I'm just gonna dump a little bit over here. Try it again. The hot dog is excellent. You know the bread, I didn't talk about the bread too much. Very soft bread and typical like New York bread, like Rockland Bakery bread, which I love. It's nice and soft and it soaks up all the juices. So that's one thing that I like. Re sweet relish is good. Seems like it's jarred, not made, not, not made fresh. It's, it tastes like a typical, you know, typical relish that you see off the street that you buy in a jar. Sauerkraut's fresh, but the onion sauce is what's overpowering. So it's sauteed, right? So I'm ima imagining they're putting it with the hot dog grease. So you got pork grease, you got everything on there just... So you taste it. Does it mean it's bad? Absolutely not. 8.8 .8, to be fair, 8.8. .8. Just because the onion, I, I really thought it was like New York onion sauce, sauteed onion sauce. But if you're hard of hearing, this is the best spot you could come to. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But if this is awesome, awesome. I love the vibe skateboarder vibe you know i grew out of it but um but some people don't and they made a living out of it which is great i love it so enjoy the day have fun as always like and subscribe thank you guys very much for for being part of this channel today's gonna be two years that i've uh, that i've opened the channel up over 50,000 subscribers it's still going strong thank you guys so much thanks again to our sponsor living is interesting i'm gonna put the link in the description and uh and see you guys later. Thanks. Bye, Criff. Thank you so much. I mean, this is a blessing just to come here and, and, and taste these hot dogs. Really, really cool. Loved it. Uh, they wanted to sell me this one, the chili dog, too. I just didn't want to get too much cheese on top of it. I wanted to taste the hot dog itself. But next time I come, I'm just going to try different different hot dog styles that they have. They have a ton of them. I'll put the menu up later, but uh, man, what a, what a good experience. And just to think that Cats is just a couple blocks down from here south. So it's a good spot. And I think if I keep walking straight, we might hit Papaya Dog too. We might hit the trifecta here. So how much did I pay? It was uh, about, with tax, $7.50 per dog that I paid. So the chili was a little bit more, it was $8.50, and the other dogs were $7.50 each loaded with toppings i'm stuffed i'm full so and i just drank water very cool spot i love it very cool if you just want to sit there and relax and enjoy why not like a stromboli pizza just hang out right there too i gotta i definitely have to come back here and just hit a couple of spots not just uh, hot dog spots, but like fast food, see what they have here that you could buy something quick and eat.
All right, I gotta walk off these hot dogs. I need a minimum 15,000 steps today. Start burning the fat. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again for everything. I'm just gonna walk back up to the train station and then move my way up north. See, like these spots here, you see? Enchiladas and stuff. All these guys are California, LA Dodgers, Lakers, this, uh, this, uh, an LA joint. Jiang's Kitchen, Chinese cuisine. So Chinese food halal friendly. Hmm. All right, that seems interesting. Let's keep going. Town. Guess they sell something there. And then we got some Chinese food here, hot pots. Chef Tan. This looks like Szechuan. It's got the spicy. Yeah, there's glizzies over there. That's definitely closed. Yeah. I would have loved to try that. Even the, the logo looks good. And you got beer and uh, e smokes. Bobar, Kimura. That search and destroy. Look at that thing. Huh. Well, I'm not going in there. Another session on house. Seems to be a uh, a running theme on this street, which is beer and tattoos in Szechuan. little karaoke right there at the end what do you have here funky town wine convenience yeah see look lead jewelry piercing addiction new york probably tattoos also all right i might need a drink or two in me to to walk the street again and visit these shops call me old-fashioned but uh, baby head dolls hanging by the window mm. Got to think twice. All right, guys, I think this is it. Oh, Barcade, I knew it. I knew it was around here. 21 or over 10. Oh, is it closed? I knew it, see? Got the games in there. I don't know if you could see. No, you can't see. This camera's too good. I can't really focus on the inside. A little Pac-Man on there. Oh, NBA Jam, right there. All right, I knew it. Be open later. All right, I know I've said bye like 20 times, but this is really it, bye. Gotta go. Gotta, gotta pick up my pace. Get 15,000 steps in for the day. All right, guys, enjoy. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.